So a mug on a desk is a really good example when it comes to looking at the normal contact force. This is often used by teachers because you forget to actually get a demo ready and there just happens to be an empty mug of coffee sat on the teacher's desk and they use this all the time. So I've got my special mug from Legoland and I'm imagining the force is acting on it so I'm looking through my force glasses at the moment. Now there's a force acting down due to its weight and actually what stops this mug falling through the desk is that the desk is pushing up in this case by an equal but opposite amount. So maybe we had a force of two newtons down. Uh, this time here there's a two newton force acting in the opposite direction, so it's the same size but in the opposite direction. And this force here is caused by the desk pushing back up on the mug. Now that's something which is a little bit confusing to think about. So I've got a balloon here, and if I wanted to squash this balloon, what I'd have to do is use both my hands to squash it between. And as I push down, I can see there's a downwards force due to this hand, and my hand underneath is having to push up by an equal size force, but in the opposite direction. So there must be a force acting upwards in order to squash the balloon. Now, if I put the balloon on the desk and I want to make it the same shape, I can just, again, push down with my right hand here, but in order for that balloon to compress and kind of get smaller in the middle, there must be an equal size force acting upwards. Now, at the moment, it's not this hand here, it must be the desk pushing up. In actual fact, you don't need to have an object moving to be applying a force. And actually, you might feel it's the same if you push your two hands together, even though there's no movement, I'm still applying a force. Just like this table here doesn't need to be moving when a force is applied. So this upwards force is called the normal contact force. The word force is pretty straightforward. The word contact is because uh, the two things are in contact. And the word normal just means at 90 degrees to the surface. Now you might have done some work looking at reflection where you maybe have some light bouncing off a mirror. And what you then draw in is a normal line at 90 degrees to the surface. And we can see that this arrow here is just 90 degrees to that surface. So that is a normal contact force. It crops up all the time. Often it's the same size as the weight of an object, but in the opposite direction. And that allows things to kind of stay exactly where they are. So the normal contact force comes up all the time in GCSE physics.